Hello friends, welcome to another weekly teardown. This week we are looking at not a SaaS not or an e-commerce website. We are looking at a coaching website, specifically a fitness coaching website. And I stumbled on Dan, Dan Go, through Twitter, I think, through a couple of tweets that he posted and other people shared his content. This guy is awesome. I started following him on Instagram, YouTube as well. His content is really, really good. And I would recommend you follow him as well. And then I looked at his website. There are a few things that I would totally improve. And considering, again, what I always try to do for these teardowns is I try to find websites that I would be the target audience for so that I have the context that I need to actually say whether or not messaging resonates or social proof matters to me in a way so that I can stick as much as possible to the target audience, let's say. Let's look at the website, shall we? As usual, we have our model, link in the description below for the explanation of how this model works. And we got our scores here. So we can see that from the first stage, empathize and guide, clarify and sway, shield and lead. From the first stage, we got a seven, six and an eight. So the website could totally do a bit of a better job in persuading people and moving them from the moment they land on the website to the final moment when they take action as well as yeah it could be improved quite substantially at the moment when they land how it resonates and tries to convey the value proposition but let's look at the details first thing first value proposition might filter out too much frame as a result what do i mean by that so actually, for kind of a technical note, if you look at the website on mobile, then you might notice that your image is cut here. So I would definitely try to have a custom visual for mobile where you don't show maybe a photo and focus readers on your value proposition, especially because you have a photo yourself here. So that's all good. But just a quick observation. As far as the copy, so we have, are you an entrepreneur who wants to create a confident and energetic body that supports your busy life? Book a strategy call. So I think it resonates. It resonates with me as an entrepreneur. I'm not entirely sure it would resonate with anyone landing on the website. You also talk, I noticed that going through the funnel, you basically serve entrepreneurs and executives especially they might fit in the category here but what about confident and energetic body that supports your busy life are these the exact requirements that people that your audience wants what if they need something else are you willing to filter them out so the way that i would try and counter these objections that maybe they have when they land it's to frame this value proposition rather as a, as a desirable goal, desirable achievement, rather than a question. A question always puts you, puts visitors in a frame of being able to reply with a yes or no, which is something that you might not want. So, and also it could also help you make this a bit more concise. So what if you had, for example, just cut it out create a confident and energetic body that supports your busy entrepreneurial life. Boom. This would be about it, right? So you kind of have the same effect, but at the same time, you don't exclude anyone. They can scroll down, they can learn more about it, but you're not stopping them here with this question. You kind of give them a hint and make them move down the page so this is one second point link to publications this is something that a lot of businesses never do and after watching hundreds and hundreds of usability testing i can totally say it's something that 
it's a low hanging fruit, but helps a lot with credibility and authority. So, which is basically just linking to the publications that you mentioned here, right? So it's not a huge, it's super easy to do, but it helps you establish credibility because people can trace back to these sources and they can read more about you and they can get more context. So just provide the links to these publications. The about page could mirror prospects more, less me, more you. What do I mean by that? Uh, so naturally what you are prioritizing here, it's the about us about page, right? And you also have it in the navigation, which makes sense. People, when they land on your website, want to learn about you, especially in a space, in an industry like coaching, working with you directly. They want to learn who you are, your story, but that doesn't mean that that needs to be just about you. It also needs to reflect your clients, their life, their struggles. What you struggle with should actually mirror what they currently struggling with. And this is something that I found is a bit lacking right now. So when you read this kind of introduction, uh, I'm Dan Go, high performance coach from Toronto. Thanks for stopping by. All this copy here is a bit fluffy, could probably cut it out. What if you started? Hi, I'm Dan Go. I spent 15 years coaching thousands of clients, blah, 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 and just go with this section here. So this could be a bit more punchy, but what I was referring to especially was the about me page. Let's give it a look. I'm just curious on mobile. Let me, can I take this off? No. Anyway. Okay, let me take a look at this on mobile. Oh, mobile looks pretty good. There's a lot of text, so I would definitely first try to break this out, break this out with a couple of visuals. But in general, what it was referring to was the language. So if you start right away from the top, so first thing first, this headline could totally be improved, could match, could start introducing your story just instead of just being that page title here. It's a bit of a wasted real estate. Introduce your story with the headline. And then you can see that if I highlight the eyes, there's a lot of eyes. There's a lot of me. See about me, my destiny. Basically the whole page is just about you as the title says. We can use this tool here to actually highlight. So you can see this is the copy, me, 73 me words and three you words. So you can see here, this is a bit of a disconnect between you and your readers, because basically you're talking about just you, but not how your story impacts their lives and how you built your business to help them out. So I would definitely try to include more of their lives. So it's good to talk about you to start with, but then transition into more details about how your discovery, your transformation is going to help them. And then you can completely transition from how the transformation is impact is going to impact them into how that's going to work, which is the call to action. So include more you messaging rather than I messaging, try as much as possible. And you can do this by actually starting. I often start about me page about us pages by telling a story that talks about the reader, something like imagine this dream outcomes or picture this and you start going into, I don't know, your ideal day, how that, how, what that looks like from waking up super early to training, creating that picture in their minds that this is where they can get and that's possible for them. So this is how I would improve the way people empathize with you when they land on the website. The second stage. How do we move them through the website from when they land to when they have to take action? What's that middle stage in between? 
Uh, first, the CTA copy could be more benefit result focused. What does the call give them? So here we are promising book a strategy call. Pretty simple, straightforward, but what does this actually give them? You're mentioning, are you an entrepreneur who wants to create a confident and energetic body that supports your life? Book a strategy call. What does it mean? What am I going to get, right? Okay, I want to create a confident and energetic body. Let's say that this works for me, but how is the strategy call going to help me out with this, right? It doesn't really convey the value that you're offering. And even though it's just mostly strategy session that's going to help you understand their needs and figure out their budget and their goals, I'm pretty sure that this strategy session also going to give them value, which is actually reflected if we click here. The first couple of words in the seven and 11 seconds here, if you watch this video, it basically goes through a three step process that explains how these strategy calls work, which is basically looking at their current situation, figuring out their goals and start explaining how your program, your approach, your process is going to fit them to fit in with their goals and, and desires. So I would totally try to convey a bit more of that value that they gain from just the strategy call right here and basically focus your call to action, your approach here on selling the strategy call rather than selling the training. Focus first on selling the strategy call and the value that they gain from it. And then on the strategy call, you can focus on selling the program. In general, if you wanted to give a bit more of an idea of how your process works, I would also have uh, my process page or my approach page or my methodology page where you can go deeper into your process. And that would probably help clarify and set right expectations for people even before getting on the strategy call. All right, so we got here in consistent newsletter copy. I noticed this, this is just probably a lack of updates. So here we say join 35,000 subscribers and then we have every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But when you click on the newsletter, build your body exercise performance four minutes or less. Here we say 60,000 weekly newsletter so is three times a week is it weekly how does it work and if we actually go there's another page so that was a specific landing page so on this page it's even different you have sixty thousand again and journal high performance journal every tuesday and friday so there's a bit of a disconnect here something something wrong that I would totally try to align a bit more. Let's see, include YouTube, Twitter, and IG content. So, okay. We have, we have a lot of good content here. Simple call to action. We have a link to the YouTube channel here, but I don't see much social proof. So probably I would try to include testimonials. If you have them, I only see them here in the newsletter, but I don't see actual testimonials for coaching. So I would probably add testimonials before and after photos here could help, but also considering Dan has a huge presence on social media and we can look, for example, at his Twitter account, his Instagram account, and even his YouTube account. So on Twitter, Dan has 455,000 followers. So it's huge on Instagram, 286,000. And we can see that the content is very much different. Maybe it could probably either opt for Instagram or Twitter, considering some of the content is repurposed, but what about, what about adding, oh, and on YouTube has got 13 K, right? So what about including embedding some of that content right here? That would probably 
create a lot more trust, a lot more credibility for people who actually don't learn about him on social media, which I suspect it's a minority. So it wouldn't be a major change that I would prioritize here, but I would probably test at least having some more social proof of that kind. Lastly, the shield and lead simplifies CTAs from three to two. What I mean by that is right now you have the blog call to action here. I would just focus on the newsletter and the coaching. Just I would just keep these, the calls to action to two calls to action and have the link to the blog in the navigation, which considering the blog, it's basically just a collection of the newsletters. I don't see it as a standalone value that you should promote on the homepage. So I would just focus on these two. It would make the calls to action simpler and clearer for visitors. Finally, improve newsletter copy to be more vivid. Again, here with the newsletter, we have as a desired outcome or goal or deliverable, you mention subscribers who get one tip to get lean, boost energy, and build high performance bodies. All good, but what if you use that concrete, visual, vivid example here, right? So what if, for example, get one actionable tip on getting lean, building muscle, and building a high performing body for your busy schedule? What if you just said something like, and I'm speaking from a personal point of view that would probably work a lot better for me. What if you said get actionable tips to wake up energetic and ready to step into the gym at 5 a.m., something like that, something more vivid, more specific, even if it doesn't cover all of these aspects, you can maybe go deeper after, but Having just one example of a real concrete practical applications, application of the tips in the copy could probably even work better than this. All right. So these are some of my recommendations. And I mean, the website, the branding looks pretty cool. Then it's got a huge audience. So I'm pretty sure it's working really well for him. But this is just an example of how I would improve a coaching website, which I've never looked at for this YouTube channel. So hopefully this is helpful for you guys, you copy guys, you business guys. So let me know if you have any questions, check the links in the description. And if you're new here, subscribe and don't actually click the fucking bell notification. I if you want to check this out, check it out. Otherwise, <laughs> subscribe and enjoy, guys. Cheers.